Hi, I'm Dr. Pam Hopkins, Director of the ECU Speech Communication Center. As you get ready to return to the classroom this fall and to teach your students, you're probably feeling pretty comfortable about your syllabus, the assignments you've created, and even the book you've chosen. But you might not be feeling quite as comfortable about the fact that we're all going to be required to wear a mask while we teach in the classroom. If you're wondering if you can still be an effective teacher even while wearing a mask, I'm here to tell you without a doubt you absolutely can be. And today I have six practical suggestions to help get you started. Tip number one, you've got to practice. It's not too soon to go ahead and put your mask on at home and speak for an extended period of time. You might choose a disposable mask like this, which is lighter in nature to put that one on, or you might choose my preference, which is a cloth mask, and I'm gonna put it on and wear it for the remainder of this presentation. Go ahead and get comfortable with your mask. Know where to position it on your face. Make sure it's tight enough. Make sure it's not gonna slide down your face. And take your phone, your tablet, or your computer and put it across the room, at least 10 feet away. Say your lecture just like you would in the classroom. Play back that recording and make sure that you can understand yourself and that you can hear yourself. If you can't, now is the time to make those necessary adjustments. Tip number two, if there's a microphone in the classroom where you're teaching, by all means, put it on and use it. It'll help amplify your voice and you're gonna need that help because the mask is going to muffle your volume. Tip number three, learn to breathe from your diaphragm, which is gonna provide breath support. Did you know that most of us breathe incorrectly? That's right, our shoulders go up and down. We just fill our lungs with air, but we don't get that good breath support that we get when our stomachs go in and out. If you just try to speak more loudly during every class lecture, you might end up straining your vocal cords and becoming hoarse. If you breathe from your diaphragm, you'll get that great breath support and you'll have strong volume without straining your voice. Tip number four, record a portion of your lecture at home while not wearing a mask. If you do that and play it back during your actual live in-class lecture, it'll provide two advantages. Your students get to see you as you without a mask on, and second, it'll give you a break during your lecture. You'll still be in the classroom, you'll still be wearing your mask, but you won't be talking while you play that recorded portion of your lecture. Tip number five, if you're teaching a class where your students absolutely need to see your mouth or your facial expressions, request a face shield from your supervisor. ECU is going to have a limited supply. And tip number six, eye contact is key. We usually depend on our facial expressions to help be engaging presenters. So you want to make sure that you use your eye contact to look at every student in the classroom and really engage with them. And if you need a little extra help, please contact us at the Speech Communication Center, 252-328-2790, or reach out to me directly at hopkinsp at ecu.edu. Wearing a mask, whether cloth, face shield, or disposable, is going to be a challenge and present some obstacles, but that doesn't mean you still can't be an effective teacher in the classroom while we all try to protect each other.